Has this ever happened to you? You get this very classic chart setup where price made a high, retracted back down, and came back to test that high again. You watch closely as this candle slowly starts to come to this resistance point. Tons of volume starts coming in and more and more buyers are starting to enter. The candle is getting bigger and bigger. You wait eagerly to enter as once price breaks this high, you expect the price to skyrocket and make tons of money. And then suddenly, it happens. You quickly rush to your broker and buy as many shares as possible. You are ready to sit back and watch the gains come into your account. Oh wait, what's happening? The price, it's starting to slow down. What? Sellers are starting to enter. Oh no, it's starting to reverse. What? It's crashing. And it turns out you entered into a false breakout and lost all your money. <coughs> Well, what if I told you this is one of the most common ways traders lose money? If only there was a way to avoid these false breakouts completely and make sure this never happens to you again. Well, actually, there is. What if I told you I found a brand new technique to make sure this never happens to you ever again and you can actually capitalize on moves just like this one and know they are coming before they even happen? That would be pretty cool, right? Well, to understand why this move happened, we first have to understand what caused it. And the answer is liquidity. You see, the markets are ran based off liquidity. In other words, liquidity is basically fuel for the market to move. Without liquidity, the market wouldn't move. So let me paint you a picture. If you were in a long trade in this specific example, where would you set your stop loss? Well, most traders are going to set their stop loss right below this low probably. As if price goes below this low, you'd expect the price action to turn bearish and continue to head downward. And the funny thing is, a majority of the market market has the exact same style of thinking. So what ends up happening is a lot of stop loss orders are going to be set in this area. So price is naturally going to want to head towards it. And once price breaks this low, all hell breaks loose and it's going to trigger all these stop losses. But the big hedge funds and private equity firms know this and they use all these stop losses as liquidity to enter big positions. So oftentimes price will do this break, the big companies will enter their positions and the price will end up reversing, resulting in a false breakout, or in other words, creating liquidity. The market is ran by liquidity. Once you realize this, it will change the way you trade forever. So how can we make a strategy based off of this information to make sure we can capitalize on moves just like this one? Well, that's why you click this video, right? It's actually pretty simple. So this is a pretty common chart setup. You'll have equal highs right here and equal lows right here. Now, most new traders will call these points support or resistance, but actually these points are liquidity. And this is where the strategy actually starts to take place. But before we get into the actual strategy, we first have to understand another core concept, which is fair value gap. A fair value gap is simply when price moves up or down an insane amount, creating an imbalance in the market. You can mark this area by simply marking the wick before the big candle to the wick after the big candle. Then we can see an area where price price hasn't touched. This candle moved up so quickly that it didn't give sellers the chance to correct this move, creating an imbalance in the market. So naturally, price will want to come back to this area to test again. Remember this because it's important to the strategy. So going back to the example before, oftentimes if you go on a higher time frame like the one hour or daily, there will usually be a bullish fair value gap right below this liquidity, somewhere right here. And there will also be a a bearish fair value gap above these highs somewhere right here. So going back to the point I made earlier, price will naturally want to come down to this point to test this fair value gap. So we now have that information we can work around. Once it hits this fair value gap, it will want to repeat the process. Well, you may ask, where's the new liquidity? The liquidity is right here at these equal highs. So price will naturally want to come take out this liquidity now. And while doing that, price will usually move move up so fast that it'll leave another fair value gap, then we'll naturally want to reverse back down to this new fair value gap. Once price gets here, it'll naturally want to take out more liquidity. And where else to do that other than the highs it made in the beginning? Right about now, you should be getting that light bulb in your head. Price will naturally want to take out these highs, creating liquidity, and then hit that bearish fair value gap. It will eventually hit this bearish fair value gap, and then repeat the whole entire process to the down 
downside. I actually shared a trade exactly like this with my private Discord group. The private Discord is basically where me and a bunch of other professional analysts share all of our trades in real time, both entries and exits. We even keep track of all the trades we place and share the monthly results every month so you can see how good the analysts are doing. It's also a great place to talk to other traders and ask questions about your own trading. And not to mention, people are absolutely loving the signal. If you want to become a better trader and want to see exactly what I'm trading at all times, join the Discord. I'll leave a link in the description. But here's the thing. The chart doesn't even necessarily need to look exactly like this. For example, here we have this chart. We have a high right here and a low right here. Both are liquidity. Then on a higher time frame, we have a fair value gap right here. Price takes out this liquidity, which gives it fuel to head downwards. While it comes down, it leaves a small fair value gap. Price comes back up to it, continues to fall. Now price breaks this liquidity and we know it has an end goal of trying to get to this fair value gap on a higher time frame. While doing this, it left a huge fair value gap to the downside. Price comes back to this fair value gap to test it, then reverses back down. So now we have two points of liquidity left and the market will continue to do this forever. One thing you should take from this video is price will always look for two things, liquidity and imbalances. The best moves occur after liquidity has been swept. If you want price to go higher, you actually need price to go lower first. If you want price to go lower, you want price to go higher first. Once you understand this concept, your trading will change forever.